Hello and welcome to this experiment which will examine the hypothesis that crystals can interact with biological organisms. Uh, as of the present day, virtually the entire scientific community uh, dismisses such ideas as pseudoscience due to a lack of verifiable evidence, a position I can completely understand and respect. So I decided to design a little plant experiment involving rose quartz crystals and watercress plants. I'd just like to point out that although I've tried to make this experiment as controlled and fair as possible, it's not a strictly scientifically controlled experiment in a lab. So um, what I did was, was to get a plant box together, as you can see here. Um, place roughly the same amount of soil in each plant pot uh, and then put 60 watercress seeds in every individual plant pot, okay? And at the bottom of four pots, these ones here, I also put a rose quartz crystal. Uh, these, yeah, so these pots here. Uh, as per many crystal healing conventions, um, just doing what the conventions say, <laughs> the crystals were asked to help the plants. Uh, in those plant pots in which they were placed. Uh, the other four pots here were left as control pots, and that is to say pots with no crystals in, pots which will act as a point of reference to the points with rose quartz in them. So basically that was yesterday, so there hasn't really been much growth up to now. I have been and will be watering all plants uh, the same quantity of water on a daily basis. <coughs> After seven days, I will cut any plant seedlings produced out of all plant pots. I will then measure how many seedlings germinated uh, in the rose quartz pots, uh, so these ones here, against how many seedlings germinated grew in the control pots, uh, those without crystals, these four here. Okay, I will also look to compare the average length of plant seedlings from the control plant pots, again here. Uh, against the average length of seedlings plant from the rose quartz pot. Uh, then I'll probably do some um, rudimentary stats, statistical analysis, um, just to see what comes up really. Um, I think it could be quite interesting. So that's all for now. Um, I'll upload more videos uh, throughout the course of this experiment um, to see how it's going and also, of course, um, report on the results of the experiment. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to day three of this experiment to examine whether rose quartz crystals can have an impact on watercress growth. Just a reminder, these are the pots with rose quartz in and these are the control pots, those crystals with no quartz. Okay, so on day three we can see there is some green growth in all the plant pots. Uh, not really possible to say whether there's any difference yet, but um, there's a lot of time to go in this experiment, four days, so yeah, should be interesting. Until the next time, thanks for watching. <clears throat> Hello there, third day of the experiment. Some indications that there is more plant growth in the rose crystal pots compared to in the normal pots. Nothing concrete as of yet, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, this is day four of the experiment into whether rose quartz crystals can affect plant growth. Okay, just a little note, I've decided to end the experiment early because plant growth has been a lot better than I expected. But Let's take a look at the final results, um, yeah, after four days. Okay, so from up here on high, uh, there is an initial impression, impression that there's more plant growth in these pots, the ones that have crystal, sorry, that have rose quartz in, uh, while there is less in these ones here. Um, there seems to be more seedlings, and at the same time, um, the plants seem to have grown higher, uh, which you'll see in a sec when I zoom in, well at a different angle, I'll show you what the plants look like from a different angle. Okay, um, so from this angle here, 
it's fairly clear that the plants in the crystal pots have grown higher than the plants in the other pots. Uh, see, so they've 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 grown higher above the level of the pots. Okay, um, we'll just try it from this angle. See if there's any other useful information that can be obtained. Uh, again, if we look at it from a avenue perspective, I think there is a bit better growth in the pots on the right side. I don't necessarily think it's a huge difference, but I think when you look at here, and then you look at here, and then you look from here, and we'll also have a look at the individual pots, you can see that there is somewhat more growth. So yeah, you can see how the growth is not quite as pronounced in the control pots, the normal pots. So yeah, that's the experiment concluded really. Uh, what I'm going to do now is take all the seedlings out and I'm going to measure the length of every single seedling um, as accurately as I can. And I'm also going to measure how many seedlings germinated in each pot and then I'm going to do some statistical analysis to see whether it's significant. Again, I'd just like to repeat that I recognise this isn't a really scientifically controlled experiment, but I still think it'd be quite interesting to um, analyse the results to see if there's any interesting conclusions, really. Because I think from a purely observational perspective, um, these plants have done better. Okay, um, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to be uploading more videos um, testing the effects of various different crystals and also alternative medicines on plants um, just to test the idea that they can work um, because it's so easy to do on plants. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I will upload the statistical results as well shortly. Bye now. Okay, this is just a brief afterthought with regards to the experiment into rose quartz and crystals. Uh, as you can see, I've demolished the plant pots and I've taken out all of the seedlings there. It um, took me a while. Uh, I was going to measure the height of every individual seedling, but because I had about 200 um, and it's quite late, I realised <laughs> It would take me absolutely ages. So on this particular occasion, um, I didn't measure the height, uh, even though that seemed the most encouraging parameter, purely from the um, shots I showed you earlier. And yeah, you don't have to take my word for it, but when I was looking at them, when I was counting them, um, it definitely seemed to be an intuitive difference. Um, again, I didn't do the uh, measurements, so I can't prove it statistically or even show there's any statistical basis, if you don't want to use the word proof. Um, what I did do was uh, count the amount of germination in each pot, and I'm an honest person, so I'm going to show you the results, because uh, they don't exactly favour the idea that crystals can have an impact on plants. Um, yeah, the number of germinated seeds in each particular pot is pretty much the same. I'm not even going to bother to do... Uh, stats on it. Um, in my personal opinion, the seedlings in the non-crystal pots tended to be smaller, uh, as, I, as I was saying, but again, um, I didn't take the height, so <laughs> my fault. Um, but yeah, that's really it, to be honest. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this first video about interactions of alternative phenomena and uh, alternative medicine on plants and I will release more in the future thanks again bye oh I just like lastly say I invite other people to do this and do their own experiments um, just to prove that I haven't kind of manipulated what I've done in any way um, with regards to the images I showed